This is Frankly Speaking with Muywa Afolabi. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves and please receive Muywa Afolabi, your practical career success coach. Enjoy. You get yourself an MTN line. You never know when you might need to travel, and you need to be reachable at all times. MTN? Why? I had an MTN line before, and I wasn't feeling the service. I beg. Ah, calm down. Things have changed, too. I was just like you. In fact, I potted and came back. Here, here's my phone. Call her back. Hey, hello? Can you hear me now? Eh, uh-huh. I can hear you very clearly now. Wait. Why don't I have this your oh, number? It's not like so that. you've been keeping secret from me, Abby? Uh, no, I can't no. hear somebody moving around. Please. Who did you travel with? Honey, Who is honey, she? Better calls and data. Better service, better value. Choose the network that never stops upgrading to serve you better. Text port to 3232. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning to you all. Hope you're doing great this morning. Welcome to Frankly Speaking, your favorite business and career mindset talk show on radio. My name is Muiwa Afolabi. It's a pleasure to share time with you again this morning. Today, I want to talk about profit. Profit, how to make good profit. So this one I have titled, Do the Profitable. Do the Profitable. One of the most powerful laws in life is the law of sowing and reaping. Sowing and reaping is the key to productivity, increase and continuity. For anything to remain alive, relevant and progressive, the law of sowing and reaping must be applied. Every single plant continues to exist on the account of planting its seed in the right environment and soil and after a while, Mother Nature will see to its growth, development and the ability to yield fruits and seeds after its own kind as well. The seed from this new plant is subsequently planted as well in the right environment and soil. Hence, it will after a while grow, bear fruits and produce seeds after its own kind as well. The law of sowing and reaping is the key to multiplication. It's a powerful, universal and basic law. Mankind for many years now have also realized this law of sowing and reaping does not only apply in physical reproduction but also in behavioral concepts. The law of karma is simply about sowing and reaping. It means whatever you do, there are repercussions. It's also expressed in the law of cause and effect and the law of actions and reactions. It means everything we do is a seed with a potential for growth and reward, either positive or negative. Having this in mind and being conscious of the efficacy of this law, it simply means your success, your prosperity, increase and wealth creation has its powers in the law of sowing and reaping. (laughs) The law makes clear that whatsoever a man sows, same shall he reap. Two words are powerful here. First is whatsoever. The second is same. Hmm. Paying attention to the word whatsoever makes very clear the fact that there is no restriction or limitation to what has the power or potential to grow. Anything and everything can grow. Everything you sow will return to you. Everything you do will return to you, either good, bad or ugly. Whatsoever is whatsoever. This powerful realization could simply be a pointer to the fact that perhaps most of our problems and difficulties in life today are not incidences or coincidences but repercussions, consequences and harvest of everything in every way. Uh, It throws light on the fact that as humans we consequently experience anything we do or release into a very fertile world either good or bad. The second powerful word is the word same. Same is same. Looking at the law of sowing and reaping from the physical perspective, you naturally expect harvest on the exact kind of seeds you sow, not a different type. This is scary. 
in that it could imply anything you're doing today, especially the bad, the wicked and evil ones are waiting for you in your future. Ah. Perhaps if you really check your past a year ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, you did something to someone or caused someone to experience that which has now returned to you and you're currently experiencing. If not you, perhaps your parents or grandparents did it. Please be aware, DNA is recognized by Mother Nature. Hence, if the sowing and reaping season, growth and maturity period for anything done by your parents or grandparents is much longer than their lifespan, Mother Nature will return it to you as their offspring as a carrier of their DNA through DNA recognition. <laughs> this is because the dead can't reap. This, I believe, shall naturally put an end to the question of, God, why me? <laughs> I then began to think back and realized with excitement that it was the truth. Perhaps there are some of you out there questioning right now the efficacy of this law in your lives. You're perhaps wondering why you've sown so much in cash and material things, kindness and good gestures, yet have little or nothing to show. If you want this law to work for you, there are three key factors you need to consider. These are common sense factors many have ignored. I call them common sense factors because it applies to the obvious law of sowing natural grains and seeds too. They are as follows. Number one, sow what you want to reap. Sow what you want to reap. Many of us don't really think about this. It is what you sow that you will reap, not what you expect. Uh, if you want clothes, sow clothes. If you want food, sow food. If you want good health, sow medication. If you want knowledge, teach others, pay school fees, buy books, sponsor students, donate to schools, learning centers, and award scholarships to people. If you want something, don't just sow cash. Money is not a seed. Money is a spirit. The spirit of money powers the law of sowing reaping and increase if you sow cash you can't reap cash money itself lacks the capacity for growth it only fuels growth fertilizers don't grow they fuel growth it is actually what you put the cash into that will return to you as harvest uh, let, let me make this clear if you want to reap tomatoes you don't sow just fertilizer no you purchase tomato seeds with cash and sow tomato seeds or you invest the money in existing tomato farm business to harvest tomatoes. Sow what you want to reap or sow into what you want to reap. Hmm. How do I migrate from this plan now? Star 5, 5 star, no, that's not it. I think it's star 5 star hash. Mm, no, that's not it. I remember now, I will remember. 5 star 5, Wendy. You know this thing now, you know it. Oh gosh, maybe I should just call customer care or something. No need to call customer care or rack your brain for short codes. Just download my MTN app for all the answers you need. My MTN app allows easy plan migration, buy enough airtime and data, loading of over scratched recharge cards, and so much more. Simply text my MTN to 5018 to get a download link via SMS or download from the Google Play Store or App Store. Number two, your seed quality. Your seed quality. The quality of your seed is simply about its source. If the money used to purchase what you want to sow is stolen or diverted, for example, you will ultimately have the problem that money was meant to solve in the first place. Bad seeds yield bad harvest. If you steal, embezzle or divert money meant to purchase drugs for people in the hospital, for example, no matter where you sow it into, even if it is a religious project, your ultimate harvest will be sicknesses and diseases. The power of same is in the seed, not in the soil. Uh. Number three. Now let's talk about your soil. Number three is your soil. The soil you sow a seed into is very important. A good seed will never grow in a bad soil. A fertile soil is necessary for good growth and bountiful harvest. I've heard many people say stuff like, I'm not bothered about what they use the money for. God sees my heart that I have given. Oh, how foolish. How can a farmer or sower not care about the soil? 
How can a good sower not mind if the seed falls by the wayside or on the rock or amongst thorns or on the good ground? Many remain pathetically broke today, wasting their good seeds in bad soils. The best soil, however, recognized by humanity and divinity, with the capacity to yield in hundreds of fold, is in the lives of orphans and widows and the poor and the hungry, the sick, the displaced, the homeless and less privileged. That's why billionaires all over the world donate to charity. They understand and respect the law. It makes them wealthier. Ladies and gentlemen, every activity we carry out daily is a form of seed we're sowing in one way or another and we shall consequently reap everything in one way or another. Dear friend, sow wisely. Mastering the art of recovery, ladies and gentlemen, when we fall, when we fail, when we make costly mistakes or experience defeat, for many of us, total recovery is usually difficult and daunting. Fear, insecurity, guilt and battered self-esteem makes our attempt at a glorious recovery very challenging. If you desire strong and powerful recovery from errors, from defeat, from pain or even bad seeds from your past, Simply join others this month at the Frankly Speaking Live event to learn the principles and process of total recovery. Is it in business, in career, in relationship, in marriage, in investment, your dream or your ambition? There are principles for great recovery. Come learn these principles so as to recover and achieve very great and mighty things in your life. These are proven principles that work. Date of event is this Saturday, September 30, 2017. Venue is the Prote Hotel, Isaac John Street, Ikeja, GRA in Lagos. Time is 10 a.m. prompt. Registration fee is just 10,000 Naira only. To register, simply call 0706-349-6599. I believe you learned a lesson or two from today's episode of the program. To review this content today and other inspirational content on my talk show, you can visit my website and have easy access to my YouTube channel. Just go through www.muiwaafolabi.com and access some inspiring contents on my YouTube account. Till I come your way again, same time, same station tomorrow for another episode of your inspiring talk show. My name is Muiwa Afolabi. Please enjoy your day. Hello, I just got back from the States and I need to buy a SIM, you know, so that I can have a number, you know, catch up with folks and peeps, yeah? Auntie, na nyafu nyafu bonus you need. What's yafun yafun? If you join MTN, eh, you go enjoy things brekete. What's bracket? You feel do anything we like with the bonus, chatting, no, browsing, no, texting, no, calling, no, to all network for Nigeria. No condition, complete freedom, everything, no buckle. Excuse me, I don't understand. What's buckle? For example, now, eh, if you recharge 100 Naira, they go give you 600. 100 naira. If not 200 naira, they go give you 1,200 naira. Eh, hey, bros, ye yeah, show me the way now. Get an MTN SIM, activate it, and get six times of all your recharges every time you recharge. Also, enjoy free data to download, chat, and do much more on MTN deals. Only. Sister, you be here like this now, you can't deform. Bros, you know now, nah, now nah packaging. Frankly Speaking with Muiwa Falabi, a production of Frontiers International Services Limited, is proudly brought to you by MTN. Everywhere you go.